Hey guys, how are you doing? Question for you, how do you kill Wi-Fi? You turn the power off. So that's the easiest way. So if you've got a Wi-Fi light bulb or Bluetooth light bulb and you're enjoying the process of taking your mobile out and switching this on and off, you probably know what I'm talking about. Well, um, here's the progress. I actually quacked it and uh, despite me just uh, turning off the power, I am able to still turn it on. Let me just show you. Uh, using a keyboard or Wi-Fi command or anything. So yeah, let's... the wrong button. Let's do this. And now you can see the light is on. There is no trickery. Uh, everything works. I can, I don't know, I can hire my Raspberry to do it. Let me show you that. There's a beautiful logo and a terminal and uh, let me just put the commands to turn it off. Excellent. And uh, there is a Wi-Fi server. I can turn it off and on again. So let's click on on and it works. Great. And let's reduce the flickering. That's, that's brilliant, and I'll show you around. Basically, this is still the same prototype with some improvements. Uh, however, it works with the switch, which is brilliant. It's still clunky, it's still big, and I'm waiting for some parts to actually make it smaller. So you can have a glorious look in here. It's connected to ceiling fitting. Once uh, I'm gonna get, it won't fit right now behind it. However, that's the goal, to make it smaller. I think I can make it about 50% smaller, which should be enough to fit it uh, just behind this uh, uh, fitting. Or you can hide it behind a wall switch, depending on your setup and how your lights are being wired. You don't have to rip the walls. You don't have to do anything. All you need is just, uh, uh, you know, uh, screwdriver and you can attach it to the existing cables and everything will, should work. Uh, now if the device won't be small enough to get inside there'll be a small plastic box so you can mount it next to it and it should look nice and neat. So now I'm waiting for some parts that will help me to make it smaller and then I'll need a custom PCB that will well help me to make it smaller. The cost of device the best thing is Five, five bucks, honestly. It's less than five bucks, actually. And if you get all the parts, you know, in bulk, then even cheaper than that. So, um, yeah, feel free to ask me any questions. Uh, follow me on social media, visit my website, notenoughtech.com, follow me in here. And as soon as I've got a complete list of parts and uh, uh, build a smaller prototype, I'll start sharing how it works and what you can do with it. So, yeah. Great stuff. I'll see you in the next video then. Bye. Jake. Jake. Jake doesn't cooperate today. It's too dark in here, so I'm just gonna turn the lights on myself. See ya. Bye.